Hey, it's Dr. Sebastian Gonzalez with Performance Play Sports Care. This is going to be an exercise on how to prevent and rehab rotator cuff injuries, not tears, not large tears in baseball players. Now, rotator cuff injuries typically come from altered roll and slide of the shoulder itself, also decentralization of the ball and socket, and poor shoulder blade mechanics. We can go all the way down the list in regards to trunk and hip stabilization, power, and generation, but we won't go into that just yet. This is mainly in regards to rotator cuffs. This is just one of the awesome exercises we use at our facility for rehabbing and preventing injuries with rotator cuffs in baseball throwers, pitchers, and players. Now this is obviously just one for the rotator cuff. However, we do have other exercises that we use in combination with this that should be included in the link description below this video. This exercise is called the serratus push-up or push-up plus. Now, the exercise is intended for the serratus anterior to improve function. The serratus anterior is one of the muscles of the shoulder blade, which will help with decreasing altered function of the blade, which will then also decrease strain on the cuff in your baseball pitchers. Now, if you don't understand the whole concept of altered sh shoulder blade function, as well as roll and slide of the, sh the shoulder itself with the GH joint and centralization. We do have a whole video on this topic in the description below. You'll find a link there. Now again, this one is pretty simple. It's like you're doing a push-up, but you're only doing it with your elbows locked. Now for the purposes of this video, just watch mainly my shoulder, okay? Notice that I'm going up and down with only motion of the shoulder girdle. It's almost like the very end of a push-up or the end of a bench press. Now this is not to say that push-ups are not important, but it's important to realize that the shoulder blade does move and you have, you have to have full excursion of that shoulder blade to actually strengthen it as well. Now typically we insert this exercise into a small circuit for our baseball players. Other exercises can address topics or conditions such as isometric trunk control, hip mobility, or also strength and power, but also things for centralization of the glenohumeral joint in the case of rotator cuff tears or strains. Most of the circuits we lay out are about 15 to 25 minutes for these conditions. However, it depends on how extensive we make it for that athlete in particular. If you want some examples, we actually do have a PDF on the site. Uh, it should be included in the, in the link description below, which lays out some of the fundamentals or one of the basic programs that we give our athletes in the very beginning. Obviously, this is something for education purposes only. You should be examined before you actually start a rehab program. But these exercises are actually great for prevention of rotator cuff conditions as well. Now, lastly, I want you to share this with at least one of your teammates. I guarantee not every baseball player knows of these exercises, and they probably should. It's really going to help prevent injuries, increase their career, and it's going to help you guys win as well.